inflation's already reached, I don't know what the average cost increases on, on food and clothes and all that kind of stuff like that, but we're easily 50% higher than we were, you know, a few years ago. So whether or not that inflation rate starts to cool down and we get back down to a 2% inflation rate, which, which sounds fantastic compared to 6 or 7%, those prices have still gone up. On the land side, like nothing's transacting, although I got a lot of hits on my land listings over the last week. A lot of people are reaching out, so that's good. So people are starting to think about land again. But like, how do you finance land right now? And and why are you doing that? What are you What are you planning on doing? Are you going to do a development? To, yeah. Are you going to build some houses? Are you going to build you a single family home? You got to know something. You got to have a real I don't angle. Know why you're buying? I'm the yeah. I'm the one selling it. I don't even know why they're buying it. Yeah, but you listen, know? you got to. How are you going to make money a, on this? A fantastic deal, and everything has to like really work well otherwise it's 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 ludicrous yeah or you have to get just, some crazy terms or something yeah your deals are different because they're 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 not the um expected uh highest and best use and so therefore you've got something that people didn't know about i'm yeah. just talking about land where it's like everybody knows what it is sure you got 400 houses that are going to be built on that 100 acres you got a single family home on that one you got a row of townhouses on that one whatever it is those those places aren't selling no, and that, that's and what I was saying. If people would actually listen on the show and they would actually listen to some of the things I, I've been saying is there is a really good opportunity out there. There's this kind of gray area at the moment that is ripe to be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, manipulated? No, is that the right word? Taken advantage of? Taken advantage of. I mean, pretty much the same thing, but... Uh, it's there and if you know about it and if you're if you are i guess a little bit crazy because you know what i realized tk about me and my deals there's mm. always some crazy like part of it that most people just don't want to touch you know what i mean there's like some thing to get over that most people would say i don't want to deal with this this is going to be a lot of work Right. Or this is going to be, you know, a little too early or something like that in this area or, you know, whatever. But I, 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 and I think that's a secret sauce that people can also take advantage of because when you sort out problems that other people aren't willing to, to work on, you can really find some fantastic opportunities and they're out there. You just got to get out there and do shit. No education, shit. anything, no any shit. market, any market, any investment, any time of year, any location, education, education, education. There's deals. Any deals that I've lost money on is because I jumped in stupidly mm -hmm. and I was not thinking and I knew nothing. And I'm like, everything's just going to work out. Yeah. You know? So Th that there's was two me. options you've got. One is you can educate yourself or you can invest your money with somebody who's already educated. That's a good idea. Those I decided, are the two options. Well, I let the market right. educate me, and that was a really bad move because that hurt like hell, and yeah. it took a long time to come back from. You went but in uned uneducated. I'll tell you, I would feel a lot different in this current environment right now, doing what I'm doing, if I had things set up the way that they were the last time around. I'd mm -hmm. be a sitting duck. Right. Mm -hmm. Because that was like super ridiculous amounts of leverage and no money in and like just stupid. But now things are like, you know, set up in a way where there's lots of equity and there's lots of vested interest and people are going to make sure that, you know, Doing things right get over any little hurdles that come our way. But what's wonderful, especially about the one in Forest Hill, TK, I can't I can't say enough about this site. And I won't uh -huh. stop saying enough about sure. the site. But it's but already financed. It's already good. You don't need, Mark not... brought it up. Like, yeah. it is a gem in such a friggin' fantastic area. And it is so unique that normal market doesn't apply here, right? Mm. It, 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 we're not looking for investors, right? People are not buying these things to rent out. People are going to buy these. The iconic property that you trophy. can only get one chance to, to ever right. buy. That's right. Who found yeah. you that property? What you know what? Like, probably that same guy should have found me my house. Oh, there you go. I guess it's, it's just it's two uh, for two. He's two doing pretty good. Two. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. But I believe that um, right now the time for most people 
okay, is to cut back on your expenses to figure out how you're going to be able to, you know, manage your money a little bit better. This is what happens during, you know, recessionary periods. People start to figure out what's important to them and what's not important to them and not to start, not splurge or, you know, go buy luxury items and all that kind of stuff. Inflation's already reached, um, you know, I don't know what the average cost increases on, on food and clothes and all that kind of stuff like that, but we're easily 50% higher than we were, you know, a few years ago. So whether or not that inflation rate starts to cool down and we get back down to a 2% uh, uh, inflation rate, which, which sounds fantastic compared to, uh, you know, six or 7%, um, those prices have still gone up. So you know, How do they they're, come still, down, they're not going to come back down. My bananas are not going to go back down to 49 wow. cents a pound. No, know? these suckers are used to paying six ninety nine for bananas, and, and, and I'm gonna just I'm just gonna keep paying those, those those prices and keep going forward, and that's how I'm gonna end up, um, you know, putting myself uh, underwater, you know, because I'm not gonna have the same amount of income that I did before. So that's got to get cleaned up, and and that's to me the best advice anybody could get is clean up your act, figure out how to be able to manage your expenses, figure out what areas you can increase your income on, and then decide if you know buying. An investment or, or or buying a bigger home or whatever it is, getting into real estate makes sense or not? Because I think people forgot about those things. People were just gung ho. I'm making money. Don't worry. I'll become a crypto millionaire. All I got to do is buy a house, you know. And that and that's that's really really put us in a bad position. Um, so I don't know. Not to say that I wouldn't work with an investor. Like, oh, how dare you, you know? But I really like would vet them. I have enough business on the go to be able to actually go through it with them and say, Hey, does this really make sense? And I've done it a thousand times. That's a, that's a lie. I've done it 10 times recently, but I've done it many times over my career, you know, where you just look at stuff and you say, this makes no sense for you to buy right now. For most people, most things probably don't make sense, mm -hmm. but I can't really imagine a Toronto where prices come down on houses much, if anything. Like I really Unfor just... unfortunately for the average buyer, not much is going to change. But we'll be stagnant. Like, come on, who stagnant's who can, fine? Who can say that we're going to have a thirty percent year over year increase, uh, or who can say we're going to end up, you know, doubling prices over the next ten years? That's a bold statement. I don't know, you know? but I we saw... were saying that a few years ago. I saw we were saying, in... hey, ten years from now it's double. What do I need to worry? Two thousand nine, like uh, yeah. things went to hell and they bounced back fast and hard and like prices went way past where they started when things started to fall apart and it was a very short period of time it was like mm. like i don't know less than a year i think between when things started to fall apart around me and things started to fly back and obviously this is different apparently because it's already been like 17 years this downtrend but what what concerns me the most is that nothing makes sense you you know when rates were going up the whole fucking world fell apart and everything went to shit and so you know logic would dictate to me that when rates were going down that you know good times would be here again but i think the hard rates times are just going getting up, started well but it really exposed how fucked up this whole thing is. When rates went up, we were talking all the time about people are still spending money. They're still spending money. What's going on? It's yeah, just one of true. those lag, lagging indicators, right? And, and right now with the are rates coming down, spending it's the same money thing. Now? Like, do you now feel like people not, are not in the are malls? spending less. People are spending less. Is this a fact? Or are they just getting less for their last, money? There's the, the, the retail sales and everything like that were down. They, like the Stats Canada has been putting that out. Yeah. Mm -hmm, that was mm -hmm. on one of our last episodes. And then now you, you got the Fed talking about... Um, dropping their rates, you know, as much as 50 basis points. This is so crazy. Obviously talk. that that's going to be something that's going to be, you know, looked after as well too, which is, you know, great for us, obviously. Right. We want it. We want to have a nice, but it doesn't sound like it. Green light for the bank of Canada to be able to keep uh, dropping rates for the rest of this year without any, without even thinking about what the U S is doing as much. Like comment and subscribe. If you got anything from one of these clips and if you want to see some more, press something on the screen here. Boom. That was good. That was good. Okay. I like that. That was good.